Hey, cool. Glad you are joining us for this launch. And I just want to take a few minutes here just to give you an overall structure of what I plan to do. And we'll see, you know, if I change stuff up, but I want to tell you what I'm thinking about right now. So this is the basic structure of kind of a traditional launch. You know, you've got this, you, you've got an opt-in page where you send people to with a video and they put their name and email address in, and then you send them these series of videos. So the classic video launch is basically four videos and the fourth video is a sales video. Now, because of timing reasons, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm actually gonna do these videos two days apart. And that's pretty quick. Uh, usually I like to do them three to four days apart, but we'll see if we can create a little bit of urgency. You know, what you don't generally want is people's, your video sitting inside their inbox, but in order to hopefully make it easier for them to consume the videos, I'm going to do shorter videos than I usually do. A lot of times my videos are 30, 40 minutes long, and these I'm going to keep at 20 minutes or less and uh, hit their inbox every couple days. And that's because I need this program to start in early October and I just didn't give myself enough time. Uh, I actually just thought about doing this launch recently. So I've got to uh, squeeze it down a little bit. The other thing that I'm thinking about doing is instead of making this the sales video, which is generally what it is, I think I'm actually going to make video number three, the sales video. I'll see how the first couple videos go, what kind of comments I get. But I think I'm going to actually just do a three video launch and make this the, the, the sales video. And let's, so this one, um, this went out Sunday. I'm filming this on Monday. This went out yesterday, which is Sunday. This one is going to go out Tuesday, which means this one is going to be going out Thursday. Now, instead of having this fourth video, the sales video, what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to, in, um, on Sunday night, I'm going to do a webinar or a hangout, right? Now, I like doing webinars or hangouts on Sunday nights because it's usually easy for people to attend Sunday nights rather than during the week. So instead of dropping this video on a Sunday, and then doing follow-ups throughout the week, I wanted to do this first webinar hangout on Sunday night. Now, one of the things that I've learned from doing launches in the past is you need to give people pretty much every modality possible. That's why, okay, so in the beginning, what I used to do is just a regular video launch, right? And uh, this fourth video will be the sales video and people need to watch it and then they click on the little link to buy. What I realized is that and I think you'll see this too if you ever do a launch like this. Every video going through has less viewers than the one before it. It's just kind of like the natural attrition, right? People tend to follow off, they lose interest or whatever for whatever reason. So there are not going to be as many people watching video number four as you might think there are. Um, so I got clever, I guess, one time and I, I created a sales page. Because what I realized is some people needed something to read and people were asking me, do you just have information? I don't have the time to watch a video, but I just want the information. So I thought, okay, well, I'll create the sales page. And when I created a sales page and put it into the video launch, a bunch of people bought from the sales page. And here's what I found probably a couple years ago that blew me away. I did a launch one time and I think there were maybe, you know, 150 people that bought. And I forget how I tracked it, what metrics I used, but what I learned is that less than 50 of those buyers actually watched this video and most of them didn't watch any of the videos. And that blew me away because I was putting all of my sales into the idea that they would watch my videos. I mean, who wouldn't watch my videos? Do you know how long it, it takes me to create these videos? I'm sitting here in front of the camera for you for 40 minutes and you're gonna watch my video? How, how dare you, right? Shame on you. But what I realized is a lot of people didn't watch the videos, but they bought off the sales page. And so once I added the sales page component to the video launch, I increased my sales probably by uh, like, I think I doubled my sales. And then what I also realized, because I, I want to give people all the modalities, once 
this sales page um, lesson hit me. I thought, well, what about the people that just want to get on a teleseminar? And so then I started to do a fifth presentation as a teleseminar. And this time I'm probably going to do a webinar or a hand. I might still do a teleseminar. I'm not sure. But what I've learned is that you need to give people a little bit of everything. Give them the videos. Give them a sales page they can read for the people that just like to read. And give them another way that's not just sitting in front of their computer. Some kind of live presentation. So this can be a teleseminar or a webinar or a hangout. Webinar and hangouts are kind of the same thing. just depends on how you do it. But give them something else live. People love the live energy and every time I do a live presentation more people buy. So what I'm going to do is a series of videos. I will probably not do a fourth video. This fourth video will probably become this webinar hangout on Sunday night. It'll be live and I will refer people back to the sales page etc. And then I'm also going to do an encore. Now during the encore I generally will do some kind of Q&A or if there's some sort of thing that's missing, you know, a lot of comments are asking me certain questions and I'll take that content and I'll put it into an encore video. If I don't have anything new here, what I will do is just do an encore with a recorded version of this. If this performs well, then I might just set up an encore and not even get on live for the presentation. I might just uh, play the recording of this same presentation but just do it over again because there will be people who attend this one that didn't attend this one and a lot of those people will buy. Every presentation you do more people will buy. So how many presentations can you do? You know there's a certain point obviously you don't want to do like 20 or 25 presentations but I know this is kind of scattered but you know this is the way I do launches because it depends. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do on Thursday or what I'm going to do here. It depends on the comments. Every single one of these video pages has comments down below and I pay attention. I read, all of, uh, I read all of them. I reply to them as much as possible. I have not filmed video number two yet which is going to go out tomorrow because I want to see what's going on on the page. I'll probably film video number two later tonight once I read some of these comments. I know the content here but I don't know exactly what I'm going to teach within that umbrella. So I don't want this to be uh, super confusing to you. I understand that it feels like I'm going all over the place, but I'm trying to tell you what my mindset is right now and what are some of the possibilities that I'll be paying attention to. See, I believe that at least this is the way I work best. A launch is best when you let your participants co-create the launch for you. You're listening to their comments, you're addressing their comments in the, in the, in the next videos, etc. And if you can create something where everybody is co-creating this, then it's going to be first more fun for me, but it's usually going to be more active. People will be more engaged, they'll be more loyal, they'll be more likely to get their uh, friends and colleagues involved, etc. and share it. So um, this is the, the layout. I have a relative, uh, a relative um, structure, what I'll be doing, but I don't know what's going to happen down here especially, how I'm going to get to these people. But what I do know is I'm going to keep going after them, keep going after them. I'm giving myself about three weeks to just constantly serve, serve, serve and sell. Uh, with this traffic primarily, I will be doing Facebook just regular posts and Facebook ads to get people to this opt-in page as well as my email list to get people to this opt-in page. My email list is 13,000 people in this particular Mary Kay niche. My Facebook community is 18.5 thousand fans for our Mary Kay Facebook page. So these are the numbers we're working with. Obviously the ads, I'm starting at zero. I am going to budget probably about a thousand dollars in ads. Now, that might sound like a lot, but remember my goal for this campaign is fifty thousand dollars. That's the goal. I've done a couple launches in the past where we did I think thirty, I think one we did close to forty. Uh, this time, this year, I'm going to go for fifty thousand dollars. So I might actually increase that budget if the ads are working really well. Anyway, um, this video went a little bit longer than I wanted it to because I get into this stuff and I start thinking things that I wasn't even thinking about when I wrote out the structure. But I want you to see sort of you know behind the scenes access 
of how I work. Now that doesn't mean that this is going to work for you. I think I'm a little bit more, you know, all over the place than a lot of people are who like to have everything all scripted out and that's fine if that's the way it goes for you. That's great. You can take a lot of these learnings and lessons and structure and just script everything out. There are people that film every single video ahead of time and they have it all laid out and that's great. It just doesn't work best for me. But I want you to learn something that you can take. So even if you don't have a big Facebook community, even if you don't have a big Facebook list, I'm, I'm sorry, email list, you can still do ads. It doesn't have to be a thousand bucks, it'd be 50 bucks. You could do ads, you could do your regular Facebook and social media posts and just get the word out there. There are ways that you can make this work no matter what you, you know, what situation you, you are in. And let me mention something else that I mentioned on the opt-in video. I don't have this, this product yet. I am creating this product from scratch. What I'll be selling is a group coaching program that's gonna be a live program that I deliver. I'm going to be selling it for, I think, $200. I think I have the idea that it's gonna be eight modules, and I'm gonna do something a little bit different that I've never done in this market before, where the first four modules is the same for everybody, but then I'm gonna have two separate groups and I'm gonna do a, a, a four module series for one group and then a four module series for another group. So for me, I'll be doing 12 different calls. For each one of them, they will have either this series of eight calls or that series of eight calls, but all of them are gonna be on the first four calls. So anyway, um, hopefully this is valuable. Please leave comments, leave questions. There's things that I'm not thinking about right now uh, let me know, ask me questions and I'll answer whatever I can. And I want this to be a co-creative process with you and I as well, so that we can make this the most valuable thing that we can for you. So um, I'm gonna have some fun. Hopefully you're gonna have some fun. Hopefully you are gonna learn some stuff and I don't know what I'll be doing next for you. I don't know if it's gonna be a video, if we'll jump on a call, I truly don't know uh, because it's just gonna be, this is the first time I've done this and it's gonna be, you know, we're gonna build it as we go and what, what I teach you is gonna be dependent largely on what you ask me for. So anyway, um, I don't know what it's gonna look like but I know it's gonna be fun and I'll see you on the next video or teleseminar or webinar or email or some kind of communication from me to you.